So let me say a few things about that. Okay, it is not that we, uh, we were offended by the use of the word pariah. Of course we were, but that was not our issue. Our issue is that you need stereotype. You need to stereotype the poor, the weak, so that they can remain there. This is always the case. You look anywhere in the world, the black, the nigger, the pariah. So they need that. Our, 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 uh, uh, um, what do you say, our consternation at this whole thing was that there was just no appreciation at the time of decision. It's not just a question of a few words, Dr. Joa Soilek says, just take those offending words out and it should be okay. Anwar Ibrahim says, I don't find anything offending about the book. Of course, you know, I mean, when you don't see these things happening, it becomes the norm. Of course, you don't see the offense in whatever is happening. Right? So we said, no, this is not right. And we went out on the streets, right? For which 54 people are still attending court on our side. Okay, so that's some of the visuals, right? Some of the visuals from there. And then we had a, a conference of uh, minorities and marginalized communities. Uh, uh, last year, January, sometime, and we invited all of these people. We are building relationships with these groups, and uh, we are planning another one in Sarawak sometime again this year, and we will continue. We will continue. Okay, so those, that's a visual from there. Okay, international initiatives. This is what Mr. Vedamurti has been doing uh, from London. He has been making this is only what he did in the year 2011. He's been making representations to the UN, the European governments, uh, of the human rights violation of the indigenous and uh, Indian Malaysians. Okay, let me just go on. Okay, uh, this is his visit in Geneva with the group from Sabah and Sarawak. Right? Basically, they made, uh, actually the RNC were invited to, but they couldn't uh, join the group. They made a uh, representation in, uh, to the Human Rights Commission in Geneva, uh, to the uh, Belgian Parliament, right? same group. They went to Holland, but I don't have the visuals on Holland. Uh, so that was in Europe, making representations uh, on behalf of the three groups. Then uh, this was his exploratory visit. Uh, before the visit, they even made the presentation for this paper uh, in uh, several cities. Exploratory visit. Then, uh, you know, some lectures. And then he's made a briefing to the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission on the 10th of November last year. And the State Department to the officers in charge from Malaysia, Southeast Asia, and so on, to the senior officers there. And then briefing at the House of Representatives. And it raised many eyebrows. Indeed, is this happening? Okay, so the next step is a hearing, and uh, we don't expect it to happen in the coming year because it's an election year in the United States, it probably will happen next year. This is to raise awareness in the international community about what's going on in the country. Everybody is thinking, you know, Malaysia is truly Asia, right? And we are saying Malaysia is more than that. Come and see. We have to correct it. But it is our opinion that we cannot correct it only from within. We will need the international community to put the pressure so that political will, will develop. Okay. Then, uh, you know, the whole thing, 2007, Indra Rally was about the case which lapsed a little after that. We are reviving the case and it's going to be filed again this year. Work is underway in preparing for the case. Uh, I think some of you probably know two lawyers attempted to come into the country, part of our legal team, who will be uh, arguing the case in the United States, United Kingdom. Uh, one of the lawyers, Imran Khan, was denied entry, and the only and he, he the reason they gave him was he's a prohibited immigrant. Okay? I don't know what that means, but that's what they told him. He couldn't go in because he's a prohibited immigrant. And he went back from the airport. We just shook his hands and we left. Suresh Grover is the other. Okay. And Suresh Grover came with us. We took him around the country. This is part of the preliminary work that we're doing, fact-finding mission. Okay. And our ultimate aim is 
for the UK government to accept initial responsibility. I say initial because there's subsequent responsibility also. Initial responsibility for the misery and margin, marginalization for Indian poor in Malaysia. What we are finding now through our research in preparing for the case is that there is a case for all Malaysians, not just Indians. That's what we are finding. In all the correspondences that we've got evidence for right now, all the pollution that has gone on between the British colonial government and the aristocracy of the day, the pollution that's gone on. So we, we are now uh, looking to the possibility of expanding this just from an Indian case into a Malaysian case. Yeah. And uh, next year, when the case is filed and goes to court, many untold truths will come out. And it probably will change some of the discourse, some of the narrative in the country. Okay. So that's what we've been doing about this up to now. So what next? Now, some caveat. It's our belief that none of the political parties, not even the opposition, have the necessary political will to eliminate this deeply entrenched racism. It is our belief. There is a real and there is a real mafia out there holding the rings. A real mafia. You know, mafia is, uh, you know, uh, underworld uh, social system where those who are involved within the ma mafia just do what they are told. And for those who are outside, you know, and, uh, you know, the, uh, in the community that the mafia operates in, you better do what you are told. Right? So that's the kind of situation we have. Right? Now, that's not an easy as, as what you know, Dr. Lim and uh, you know, I'm sure all the other speakers would say, it's not going to be easy to change the state of affairs. Right? We believe the political parties will not be able to... Political parties will, will be led by the people. The people have to be. People have to understand that this, this what we have in our country, institutional racism, has to go. And civil society has to power that movement to eliminate this scorch, okay? and international pressure to supplement. We need a sustained and high profile campaign locally to educate, which we are now working on. Need this type of forum, this type of forum to be held throughout the country. Need to collaborate more widely within civil society to educate and promote new social values. Need to expand participation in this campaign uh, to end uh, to an institution. Okay, to an institution. Okay. Okay, on this uh, uh, item of, uh, you know, uh, international campaign, we invite individuals and NGOs to join us in this campaign. We can organize joint briefings. Okay, in the international community. We have done that, we have the capability to do that, we are requesting to do that, we are doing that. We are pushing for a hearing in the US Senate and US House of Representatives and you can volunteer to provide testimony or provide evidence at these hearings. We invite individuals and organizations who want to work with us in that way. Provide funding to extend campaign to other countries to inter really internationalize See, because only when Malaysia starts to smell like apartheid will there be any political will, really, to change. Or you can join us in the class action suit against the UK government. This will make the suit even more significant. How to do that? If there's any interest, you know, contact us. Whether we win or lose the suit, the case of institutionalized racism within Malaysia will be up for everybody to see. We would have won. What we have today, 2012, is a result of the dynamics of the last half century. If you do not change these dynamics, think, what is the next half century going to be like? And the longer we wait, the longer it's going to take. Okay? And our agenda is not personal. We look forward to working with all parties who can see synergistic historical opportunity. And as I said, slavery was morally wrong, it had to go, it went. Colonialism was morally wrong, it had to go, it went. I put it to you, 
Racism is morally wrong. It has to go. We have to make it go. Thank you very much.